All right, Shalawan family. <laughs> it's crazy I gotta do this, but uh, I wanted to show y'all this real quick. This is one of the images that I made, and obviously, probably IUIC, I don't know if they used it or not, but they have got permission from me. There was a brother um, with uh, IUIC, I forget which one, uh, you know, the city or whatever. But uh, I've had a lot of people ask about using the art, and, I, and that's why I made a post saying that you know you don't have to ask; you can just go ahead and use it. You know, especially if it's meant for the truth. You know, just pushing that we're Israel and stuff like that. At the end of the day, I'm not going to trip. You know, I'm not part of IUIC or anything. But like I said, I don't mind anyone that comes on this page and use the art. That's fine. But somebody came on my page and tried to bear false witness, and you get a lot of this and I before anything I want to go here okay 30 posts five followers four, four followers so this is somebody that's uh, a scoffer or whatever probably you know first of all try I trust any I don't trust anybody that don't at least have a profile picture up put up and then it says the account is private that is red flag to me okay first and foremost so then this guy 16 minutes ago he says IUIC created this please credit them okay and then I said no they no they didn't they actually got permission to use some of my photos which they did I'm not gonna go back and pull the messages up but they uh, it was a brother for IUIC and they asked about using certain images and I said that's fine okay and uh, I said actually got permission to use some of my photos get your facts before bearing false witness because that's a heavy thing so this instead of this person humbling down, they they tagged the responded again and said, Yeah, right, prove it. First of all, I don't have to prove anything to you per se. Okay, but if this is for the whole congregation to see, you know the Bible does say prove all things. But so just with that, just in case someone's looking, which I was getting ready to block this individual, but I want to show y'all just how heavy this thing can be with somebody just popping up saying things. You need to get your facts straight before you start going out accusing. Okay, which I got precepts, but I just wanted to go with this video uh, real quick. And then it says, uh, I guess I, I had a little typo, but I was going to say I don't have to prove anything to you. Okay, get off my page with your foolery before you get blocked. I did. Look, I had some typos in there, but actually uh, I did a, a, a imagery of um, some astronauts. All right, encountering uh, Yahweh Shai, which we can go look and try to get those pulled up. I said images, and this was one of them created. However, this one actually, uh, this one is actually zoomed in. See, he had me so mad, I just started typing and stuff, man. You know, it, get, it gets on my nerves that people do this. All right, so we're going to go here, and we'll see if I can pull the images up. Now, I don't think that that actual image is in those, but I'm going to show you the images that I did and then show you that this image okay there's the image right here where he commented but uh we're gonna go let's see see I post a lot too so bear with me but it's the ones where it's it's going into the book of Obadiah okay how uh Esau will go up in the upper atmosphere and he's gonna be cast down uh, I might have might have put past it because I don't think it's that far back let's see it's a lock here for me. I hate that I have to do this, man. But you know, my people, people are crazy. Okay, it's it might be back down here this way somewhere. Oh man, I know I'm, I'm passing it up. Like I said, I do so much art, man. Here we go. <laughs> I kept passing it up. All right. These are the imagery. Okay. And I'm going to prove it here in a little bit. Look, see, showing you the astronauts. Because actually the image, the full image, it has Yahweh Shai inside of an astronaut suit, which I was like, nah, that's going off. But I liked the whole facial and how it looked with the hair and stuff. So I zoomed in and posted the picture later on. Okay, but these are the imagery that I did. These are not IUICs. I made these, man. But see, the thing about it is when other people begin to share my pictures, 
and, and I might just go back to, you know and I'm not trying to be petty but I might just go to where I just say no one share them you know because see the whole thing is to help the ministry now you got people going talking about you taking certain images you need to credit them and first of all how am I credit somebody that didn't make the image but I did okay so I just want to show y'all these and then we're going to go to my uh, catalog because I keep all of my pictures and we'll sh I'll show you all the pictures that I have now you see, you're getting a good look at them okay you see all right all right so now here we are at my uh at the images that I have and you clearly can see that I have all the images in there and here you go you see all right and we'll go with the date okay and I made this back on the 31st of May okay so I keep all my images man but clearly look you can see all the images that I did so you have people man that's why you gotta watch certain people and he's probably set up to bear false witness man you know it's that that's a penalty okay but these are some of the images I did. Now, I didn't share all of them. It was just some of the ones that stood out. You know, they were pretty decent. You know, I have to watch certain certain imagery and stuff like that because this AI thing, man, it'll put tattoos on Jake and everything, like this one. I wasn't going to share that. I got this little alien in there. So that was one of the ones that didn't get shared, you know. But, you know, a few of these I did. See that? These are some of the images you've seen. that's the image okay crazy man it's crazy I even have to do this but I just and plus I was trying to message him and send him to him he like I said his page is private in it and the messages won't go through but I was trying to show him the screenshots and everything of my stuff because I really don't have to prove anything to him but I was doing it just because you know because you bearing false witness all right and what's crazy about this man is that I have to even stop to even address this but you know like I said the scriptures does say prove all things which you know do have me all messed up man because I, I was like man then I had typos and everything but really I don't have to prove anything to that guy but clearly I showed you guys just to show you these things will happen in the last days okay so like I said I can you could take that that same that moment right there and turn it into a lesson and I, like I said I was trying to message him and uh, because one I think we're not friends and two uh, you know, I guess the messages can't go through unless, you know, he look at them or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it might send him a message saying like, hey, this guy's trying to message you, you know, which I get a lot of those, too. If you're not friends, it goes unchecked and unnoticed. All right. You know, people try to uh, message me. But you got a lot of scoffers, too, in his last days. And this guy didn't didn't really uh, operate in the scriptures. But I say you can't really trust somebody who, for one, they don't have many subscribers. Uh, very few posts in your pages private to me that's very suspect you know uh, to each his own you might not uh, believe that or agree but you know I just feel like for you to be on there and doing a lot of a lot of talking and you're not bringing forth truth okay you over here worried about an image okay and clearly I proved that the fact that I actually made those now I can't go to the app that I use and pull them up like okay see it's on the app because after so long they begin to erase and that was done back in May. You know, we're in the month of June. OK, so those are uh, a long gone now. And I, I got many um, accounts with certain apps to where I can continue, you know, generating. I generate a lot of images. OK, and I'm, I'm getting to the point where I might have to start put, uh, putting my uh, my tag on it, like a tag or something showing that I made them and which I don't like to do that. Because I'm just giving them out to edify the people. However, you got some people who will actually take your image and act like they did it. You know, I've seen guys take images that I've done and put ta their own tag on it and all kind of weird stuff. And I just, I, that's why I, I was uh, addressing something, uh, you know, um, the other day. Because there's a lot of weird old Jakes. Jake, and, and a lot of the Jakes that's doing it, they won't even go and like your posts. You know, they just go and, um, and then you got some Jakes that uh, they'll wait until another Jake take your image and share it just for them to go share it from there. Like they won't even, uh, they don't want to acknowledge your, your uh, post or anything. And that's fine, but why even follow my page? Why even go to that extent? Like Jake is just so weird in this thing, man. And I'm like, it's crazy.
you know, and I don't really have time for that, you know. The the uh, kingdom the kingdom of God is at hand, man, and I'm worried about my salvation. I'm and I'm uh, trying to bid my people back to the marriage. I'm trying to do the work, man. That's it. All this other stuff, man, is vanity, man. Okay, but this is Exodus 20 and verse 16. It says, "Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor." Okay, clearly he's bearing false witness, and then he didn't believe anything I said, you know. Uh, and then try to say prove it. Well, how can I prove it to you? I mean, I can't even put a uh, send you a, a message. All right. But that's all right. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 11 and verse 7 says, Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Understand first, then rebuke. You know, you putting that out there in front of the people. So that's why, only reason why I, I went to try to prove it, because I was like, I don't have to prove anything to you. You know, who are you? You know, but you over here trying to make uh, false accusations that uh, obviously an image that I had, uh, IUIC uh, had it and I took their image and posted it. When clearly I showed you all the imagery that I did, it was a whole group of images and uh, I picked out certain ones. And like I said, it had uh, Yahweh Shai in the astronaut suit, which I'm like, come on, man. You know, he ain't coming back in no astronaut suit. So I kind of zoomed in to where when you look at the image, it looks like he's peeking through glass. And I like that. I was like, I like the, the face and everything. And it was dope. And the eyes are fiery and everything. It was like, man, this is beautiful. So I posted it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to lie about. Like, come on, man. I'm over here generating all type of dope imagery, but I've had, uh, like I said, I ain't trying to show the, Im the uh, messages and all that, uh, but uh, a brother from IUIC hit me up and asked if he can uh, use the image. Uh, it was, uh, uh, actually, he didn't ask about that particular image, but he asked about another one. It was uh, one I had of Yahweh. It was the blue clouds. It's a very popular image, all right, but, um, and many other people have took and used it and shared it. They use it as thumbnails for lessons and everything. And I told him, you can go ahead. You don't even have to ask. And that's what I told him. So from here on out, he's been grabbing them. But, you know, uh, now people are trying to uh, say that, oh, you you taking eight images and all that. And that's, and bro, we getting too crazy with this, man. They need to stop. All right. So again, Book of Sirach 11 and 7, it says, blame not before thou has examined the truth. Understand first, then rebuke. OK, and this guy clearly didn't follow the scriptures and he could be a newbie or he's just a follower of, of IUIC, which I'm not part of IUIC and everything. OK, but at the end of the day, you know, if you if you're pushing uh, the truth, like as far as like going into knowing that we're the Israelites and things like that, you know, hey, I'm not going to tell you you can't use the images. OK. You know, so and uh, I noticed um and the brother was like, you know, I'll give you credit, you know, that, that, you know, you did these things. And I was like, man, you didn't have to do that. But, you know, I'm pretty sure they've done it because many other uh, that follow them have followed my page. And like I said, I'm going to try to push the truth on, on my page, man. All right. So that's why I do the uh, artwork, because I, I uh, be honest with you, speaking as a man, I wanted to stop doing it. You know, just cut it all out. I'll do like imagery, uh, you know, personal imagery. I'm, if somebody hit me up, I might do something for them to keep them inspired and stuff like that, because that's what it was all about. Uh, second, because the first was the edification. I want to edify my people. OK, but after all that other stuff, all that was, man, I'm like, nah, man, I'm done, man, because it was getting too crazy. All right. It got real crazy. But uh, let's see, I got a couple of more precepts. All right, this is Proverbs 19 and 9. It says, a false witness shall not uh, shall not be uh, unpunished. Okay, so you see that? You're not going to go unpunished, man, unless you repent. Okay, unless you repent, which I don't think this person does, you know, is going to do that. You know, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, but this might be a prideful person. Who knows? Because I, I told them that I made it and, and they asked, you know, to use some of my injury and the, and the response was, yeah, all right. OK. So, again, it says the false witness shall not be um, punished and he that speaketh lies shall perish. And clearly you told a lie, man. OK. On my page. All right. But that's OK. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 1, and I'll end it on this, okay? And Lord willing, this is edifying. Like I said, it really wasn't supposed to even be a lesson, but I wanted to address this real quick, okay? But it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, uh, without natural affection, truce breakers. Here's a, here it is right here. False accusers. See that? In, incontinent, 
fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, okay? Having a form of godliness, okay? It look all good, but I, obviously, I don't know what's on your page. It's private, okay? You're supposed to be bold as lions, you know? Who's going to defend uh, the, the gospel of Yahweh Shemi Shai? You clearly ain't doing it, okay? The Bible says you will know them by their fruits, and clearly you have no fruits. I didn't even see a YouTube link in your bio to where you're pushing the truth, okay? Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such a uh, turn away, okay? You see that? Man, and uh, like it says in the book of Matthew, man, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, okay? This is the time where you need to be repenting. You need to repent, you know? I already forgive you in my heart. I'm not mad or nothing. I mean, it pissed me off at first when I looked at it. I'm like, man, what the heck, you know? But then I'm trying to tell you, explain to you that, hey, you know, don't be bearing false witness. And then number two, you know, you could have inboxed me that, you know? Instead of trying to put it out there like that, trying to shame me or something, which I actually made the image and clearly proved it. All right. So you need to repent because the scriptures clearly you going off according to what the scripture says. And the heavenly father will judge you and will uh, destroy you. All right. So with that, Lord Willie, I found this uh, quick lesson edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory and all praise unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel, and Shalom to you brothers and sisters out there. All right, man, hey, stay strong. And like I said, I did this lesson just to show you guys because this, this can happen to you, okay? And I showed you those precepts and everything just to show you that if a person is not going according to what the scripture says, they're going off, man, okay? The Bible, the Bible stands true. You will know them by their fruits. Be careful, all right? So with that, Shalom.